there is a time when uh, old man Coyote is always going about trying to marry somebody who uh, a wealthy widow or a wealthy woman and uh, so uh, he, so he doesn't have to work but uh, he'll be able to eat and uh, and be able to live in a, in a nice teepee and so he was going about he's always traveling along the rivers uh, looking for smoke and for, for some people that live along the river and here he was going along and he was getting hungry also he hadn't ate for a while and uh, he was going along along the river and finally he's, he sees some smoke he sees some smoke so he goes toward it and he scouts it first he looks at it and and the people are are all uh, uh, busy going about the village and uh, so he he spots a, a teepee and he, he sees a woman coming go, coming and going busy uh, doing things tanning hide and and uh, taking care of her food and and she uh, sh she wears nice clothing and she's good looking and now he's got his eyes set on him and then so he looks around and tries to find somebody that he can talk to and uh, so he 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 finds a a man in the village and uh, he he goes to this man and. Uh, and then he talks to him, he says, well, you know, uh, I live down the river, but uh, my wife died and I've been feeling bad, so I, I'm wandering around and maybe I can find a, a good looking woman who's, who's... And this man tells him to come in his house and they talk and then he says, well, uh, over there, a certain teepee, there is a man that was recently widowed and he, he's also she is also looking for a man. And uh, I, if you want me to, I'll take you there and introduce you to her. And so with all his, his uh, uh, wiles, old man Coyote, he, he can be very charming. So, so this man takes him to her teepee and, and, uh, uh, and then uh, the lady invites her into her teepee. And uh, with Old Man Coyote and all his shrewdness and and uh, charm, mm, charms this woman, and and then uh, they they get married. They get married, and he takes this man for for his friend. And uh, Old Man Coyote is so lazy that he doesn't do anything. He lays in the teepee all the time, except for swimming and and uh, going visiting. And this woman is always busy taking care of things. And uh, here, this lady had a, a young, young daughter, and she was good looking like, like her mother. And uh, so, uh, old man Coyote is lustful. He's, he's thinking of ways to uh, make love to this young lady, but it's her daughter, her, his stepdaughter. And so he's, he's always thinking about uh, uh, making love to this, this young young lady, to her stepdaughter, to his stepdaughter, and uh, so and they were dancing one time. They had a dance. So, old man Coyote dressed himself up uh, in his all his good clothes and and uh, and takes his daughter to this dance. He and she said, "Yeah." He told the wife, "Put her in her best clothing." And let her dance, and uh, so that people can can look at her. And uh, when they did this, um, old man Coyote couldn't help himself any longer, so he devised a plan to marry his stepdaughter. And uh, so when they came back, uh, he pretended like he was sick. He said he he was he didn't feel good, so he lay down. And then uh, so <coughs> because. Uh, he was a powerful being. He didn't eat for uh, for a couple of days, and then he said, "I'm feeling weaker. I think uh, I'm going to pass on to the next life." And uh, he he told his wife. He said, "When I die, I want uh, I want I know who my I want my daughter to marry." He said, "After I die, oh," he said, uh, "When you go, uh, 
When you go getting firewood, do not cut down the ash wood. If you cut them down, uh, if if uh, if uh, the the wood inside the ash is red, then uh, I will surely die. And knowing that that she will cut down some ash wood, and uh, so this lady went and and when she cut down an ash wood, the inside of the tree was red, and so she came back and she said. I did what you told me not to do. And, and the old man cowed said, now you've done it, and I will no longer be here. And he pretended like he was dead. Yeah, he pretended like he was dead. So the lady uh, dressed up in his fine clothes and laid him on a, in a cottonwood tree and tied him to the cottonwood tree with the buffalo rope. And, and he said, when I go, make sure my yellow pain is beside me and uh, my eagle fan, and, uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, the, the feathers that I use in my head when I dance. And he said, when I die, uh, in about three or four days, there will be a dance. And there will be a, a young man coming to our village, a stranger, and he will have, have a yellow face on his, on his, on his face, and uh, he will have eagle feathers on his head and he will carry an eagle wing and, and then he will dance and dance slowly around the, the dance floor and the people will admire him and this is the man I want my daughter to marry and he said you promised that you will that this will yeah you will make this come true and the woman promised so after this woman buried the uh, old man coyote he got out and, <clears throat> and wandered around and, and four days came back and then there was a dance. So when he came back, the, there was a dance. He came back and painted his face yellow and put a feather on his head and eagle feather for a fan. And then he was dancing uh, around the floor right next to the ladies. And, uh, he, and then when this woman saw it, he said, oh, my, uh, with my poor late husband, with all his power, knew what he was talking about. This is the man that my daughter should marry. And so this, this woman uh, went in and uh, uh, asked this man to marry her daughter. And so old man Coyote readily came and, and married his daughter, his stepdaughter. And so they left and, and here he, he was lazy. He didn't do anything, he just ate and, and uh, uh, went visiting and, t and went swimming and did nothing at all. But uh, and the woman was tired of her of his son-in-law, but he, he, because it was his son-in-law, she didn't do anything. And, uh, but he, he noticed that uh, there was uh, some things that he recognized and she recognized in this man. And so the, the berries were ripe, and there was a lot of June berries, and, and, and uh, old man Coyote said, bring me a lot of June berries. I like to eat them this time of the year. This is what I like to eat. And uh, the lady said, be sure to uh, take, uh, smash some of the June berries and uh, uh, paint your belly button blue before you eat them. You might, you might get, have diarrhea. And, uh, but old man Coyote <coughs> did this, and then he started eating the June berries. He kept eating them until he got sick. He, he got diarrhea, and then uh, he uh, he said, "I'm I'm about to die. I'm I'm having problems," and he kept going out, and and he was getting sick, and uh, the lady noticed that there was something in old man Coyote. At one time, had a scar on his face, and that's why he always painted his face yellow. And uh, so, being sick, he forgot to paint his, his face yellow. And uh, so, he lay there sick. And then, uh, um, and he lay there in a, in a hot teepee. And then one day, one day this lady came in and was wondering if, if his son-in-law was he okay. And he went there and she recognized the scar on his face. And uh, so he kept beating him until he ran out of the door. He ran out the door, and, and as he was running, he turned into a wolf, but he defecated all over as, as he ran along. 
and uh, the dogs were chasing him and they finally got him and and uh, but he but he got free and ran away uh, so they uh, they tell this story and and uh, when they say that he defecated all over himself uh, people laugh at it because it's humorous and <laughs> that's why they tell it and that's one of the stories that they tell about old man coyote